Active learning is a new style of teaching that focuses on the interaction between students and their work. If you can engage the material and are forced to engage it, then you're more, much more likely to come to terms with it and understand it. Reese Jones is the newest academic building on campus, and it is unlike any other academic building. That the space is very flexible. Where there are no seats that are anchored to the floor, where all four walls of the classroom, unless they've got windows in them, are involved as pedagog pedagogical surfaces. So you can write on all the walls. Reese Jones has around 14,500 feet of writable wall space for students. They really love the writable walls. And we started with just one writable wall in the study rooms. And then they sent pictures to the provost. And eventually he decided to have them all painted. So they can write on the walls or the glass walls. So they have 360 degrees to write. Um, it's mainly the whiteboard stuff. I'm pre-med. And so I have lots of chemistry and I'm doing physics right now stuff. And that's a lot of writing out equations, big problems, lots of variables. So it's nice to be able to just spread all that out on a giant whiteboard. And Students and teachers say the new technology in Reese Jones makes it easier to interact with each other and the material. And they love AirMedia because they can project their laptops to the computer in the, in the study rooms as well. We put our business processes up on here so we can look at them while we're studying. Um, we can pull up different videos of how to do certain math problems and stuff like that. Provost Donovan says the active learning movement has made the students more motivated to learn. They want to participate and to some extent control arguments. It allows us, for example, to move the tables around, to create space for discussion. Howard says the space in Reese Jones and the active learning environment provides the students with the opportunity to utilize those interactive elements. Corinne Hildebrandt, South Elgin High School.